everyone, today we're going to be making a bracelet, but for my brother. First, we're going to take our black beads, put those in the bead spinner. I'm going to take about three to four inches of this. I found these really cool beads. I wanted to use the big ones, but I actually ended up using that small silver strand in the back. We have letter beads for the BMW. I wish I had my tripod, but this is about the length I used of the black. We're going to be taking the M3 colors, navy blue, blue, red, and then white. I'm going to be adding that in chunks. We got the BMW. I put on the letter beads and they were my favorite. I felt like it kind of made it a little cheesy. It was a little too kid and my brother is a grown adult. Here's the bracelet now it's time Take to get it. Hand out. Okay, <laughs> put that other way. Okay, close your eyes. What? I can open it. Oh, it's the BMW bracelet. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it I, good? I thought you were going to stick a bug in my hand. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. It's brutal out here. license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. Hey, before you go to bed.
which phone charm is better? Okay, so this is the first phone charm we have. I like it. I really like the stretch, you guys, but some of you guys don't like the stretch. So today we're going to be making one that doesn't stretch. I'm just going to be making the loop like we usually do if we're making any other phone charm. I do the loop about two inches and then we're going to get these. So this is the confetti I got. We're going to get more and more and more. We're going to start adding them on one by one by one. Some problems I noticed right away is it frays at the end. And it was so annoying. I tried twisting it. Guys, we even lit on fire to kind of seal up those ends. It kind of worked a little bit and then I just ended up cutting it and that totally worked. So it's already giving me a harder time trying to even make it. And so not quite long enough, we're gonna add two more inches because we do six inches on both sides. Ta-da! Okay, now it's time to tie it. I'm gonna tie it like normal. I'm gonna tie it three times. And I know I need to get my nails done. I'm getting them done today. Please. You guys can go ahead and check on my page if I haven't done. If I don't, please yell at me. If I had to rate both the phone chart, it's get hard. It's honestly personal preference. I personally like the stretch, stretch or no stretch phone charm. If it breaks, it's a zero. Let me know what you guys like more, team stretch or team no stretch. Seriously though, I want to see who wins. We got our first order today, and it is a crazy one. They ordered one seafoam pearl bracelet and three cute turtle ones. Here's the crazy part. They ordered 10 bead confetti bags, making sure each bag is full. She's going to have fun making bracelets. It would take so long to organize these. After filling up the 10 bags, I gave her an extra one. These are the charms I use. Giving her turtles and cute other charms. Her name starts with R. Giving her plenty of string. Here's our thank you freebies for being our biggest order. Total orders for bracelets and 10 bags of confetti. I love packing this order. Time to ship it. Let's package an order today. First, this is my bucket of strings. I actually always have to touch it when I see it. But it's right next to the string and the string is actually what we have to use for this order. We're grabbing all our bags that we need. So it's not this fun. The order we have today is for a returning customer and she is so sweet and so nice and leaves the nicest reviews. I seriously love her. Anyway, she ordered five bags of bee confetti and I found this extra ring in there. I'm gonna wear it but maybe I should just start hiding random stuff in my bee confetti. We're sticking in more charms because we can. But we're just gonna be scooping up those bags. There's a reason why I'm not showing me filling up all five bags and it's because I was struggling so hard. Bees were flying everywhere. Anyway, she asked for extra string, so that's what we're gonna give her. We're gonna give her a lot of string. I'm gonna take this and wrap it around and around and around. This is a called a jewelry holder for those who ask, and I know you guys will. You guys can get these off of Amazon for super cheap. But yeah, they're just made out of cardboard. They're good, they're nice. I put a sticker over it to hide the staple. Moving on to the surprise bracelet she picked out. And these bracelets I actually have discounted. So all my other bracelets are five dollars. These ones are four dollars because I get to pick them out. But it's fun. It's kinda like a surprise blind bag a little bit. But look at this sticker. And this sticker. I think they're both cute and kind of funny. That little sounds a little creepy. But like good creepy. Anyways, we're gonna start sticking everything in and I tried shoving everything in, but it did not fit, so we have to use a bigger bag. Go ahead and package everything up. We stick the little SoCo sticker on. And then after we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and play with the other stuff. How I make a phone charm, except this is actually my first time making one. We're gonna cut our string and then I'm gonna fold it in the middle. I'm gonna loop it behind the back. We're basically just making a knot. 
gonna grab it in the middle and then pull it. We're making it so it has this little loop so it can slide through the phone. My loop is about two to three inches, but afterwards I kind of felt like it was a little too long, so I'm gonna be doing it shorter for the future. We pulled it tight and I'm gonna tape it down to hold it in place. All right, next is time for beads. I got six millimeter pearls, eight millimeter pearls. We got a different, lots of different kinds of charms. We're sticking with the blue and white theme though, because that's our favorite color. We're making a little beachy though. We're gonna be adding some shells and some starfish. I'm gonna take these cute little hearts. And then I actually have these light blue letter beads and we're gonna spell out Aloha. We got our cute little bowl of bead soup and then I'm gonna be putting them on and it's actually completely random. I put on my eight millimeter bead, six, a heart, and I actually decided to take this one off so all the hearts are facing up. But yeah, that's my one little tip. If you guys like it that way, you can leave it, but I kind of like everything facing the correct way. Adding some shells, some more beads. Again, this is completely random. Random, but not random at the same time, if you guys know what I mean. Me doing the other side, I measured it out to about six inches. And then we're going to be adding the letter beads. Again, I had to be aware of what way they're facing, but it's so cute. Next, I'm going to be tying it. I tied it about three or four times and then making sure you pull really, really hard. We want it to be sturdy and we want to get that knot as small as possible. And then I go ahead and cut it. And then now we're gonna apply a little bit of nail polish to make it super sturdy. After applying nail polish, you can go ahead and pull it through a hole to kind of hide the knot, but I was actually okay with it and the knot didn't want to go in anyways. But here's our charm. It's Since last week, it's always one step forward and three steps back. Do you get days of promises with you? Well, good for you, you look happy, healthy, not deep. Cause all I ever wanted was to be enough for you. I hope you're happy, but don't be happier. Organizing my beads. We need more beads first. That's better. Organizing my beads part purple. Oops. Cut and pull. We found a spy. Pull time. You didn't see that. Purple is done. Charm time. dollars more on beads. This is what we got. Charm time. I love this batch of charms. Turtles. I love the shells. Containers are small, but I have other ones. Stickers. I finally have all my blue beads. Now I can organize Shiny. them.
bead confetti from me. Just know that I hid one black bead in the bead confetti. If you find it in your order, do at this video and you win a free bracelet. Organizing our beads. Rainbow. Working on the pinks. This is how I put them in the storage. Time for pearls. I enlighten all of the containers. Ear scoop approved. It's brutal out here. Yes, you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. This is my preppy small account. I am packaging an order from a very good friend of mine, and I'm so grateful. When I say so grateful, I literally mean so grateful. She is such a good friend, and she made such a huge order. I sell these bracelets at the farmer's market, but she ordered from my phone because um, she has my phone number, and I am so happy, I swear. I'm, gonna f I'm freaking out. All of this is already $60. That's a lot of money, but again, it takes time and management to put into the bracelet. And it's around $2 for the bracelet, so I'm only making $3 in profit. Again, thank you so much for the person who ordered. I'm not going to say their name because I just don't, I didn't get their permission. 
but Bessie. Thank you. She ordered so much, and I'm still freaking out. I hope you guys can order from me, too, at your local farmer's market in Hilo, Hawaii. Downtown preferred. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And bye. Today, we're packing an order for my cousin, but this is actually a surprise. My uncle messaged me saying he wants to get something for his daughter, aka my cousin. It is actually perfect timing because we just opened our new launch, and so he picked some things out that he thinks she would like, and I totally agree with his choices. So we gathered everything up. We got all our packing supplies. We're gonna pack package these two together. We actually just got new packaging, which is so exciting and so fun. We're gonna put these two together, and since it's a set, we're gonna staple it. I accidentally did the staple too high, but it's okay, so we're gonna cover it with a sticker. Write our thank you note, and I love this, but it's so sparkly. Now we're gonna get our freebies together, little thank you cards, some stickers, a high chew, and I actually have to show you what I made. I made this little cute coupon, but on the back, what you guys see, is a little thing you could hang up for your wall collage, and I'm gonna change it out every month. You guys can get like a little nice collection, and I'm gonna be putting them out too. Anyway, so we put everything in the bag, we're gonna take off that sticker, seal it up, put more stickers on, but I'm excited for my cousin. Also, glad she doesn't have TikTok, so she can't see this. Organizing my beads. So it's restock day because some of our pinks are slacking. Some of them are completely gone, some of them are kind of low, and then some of them we still have a decent amount of. Hot pink. That's Sophia's color. My fave. It's the best. It's the best out. <laughs> she cuts it and then I pull it and then she also films. This one kind of went everywhere. <laughs> okay, this next color might drive some of you guys crazy, but I think it's so cute. All right, not hot pink. Baby beads. Baby beads. Little babies. They're so cute. I think they still needed to be in here. They're so cute. They're so little. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here's our lighter pink. I didn't want to mix the lighter pink in with the other lighter pink because they're slightly different. Here's my neon pink. I love it so much. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mine. Better. No, mine's best. And then now we're sucking the white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all done. Here is a tutorial on how to attach the clip. Here is what you will need. Start by cutting a long piece of string. Then make your bracelet. Now take this piece and attach it to one side. It should look like this. Now do the same thing to the other side. Then you want to clamp it down so that the string is tight. And now do it to the other side. Now take this ring and open it. Then attach it like this. Now take the clip and put it on the ring. Then close the ring so it doesn't fall off. Now cut the access string. Then you are done. Here is how to clip it. Let me know if you have any questions.
package and it's my beat so i'm gonna open it with you guys here it is put this down cut it taking it out i took it up out upside down so let's try to switch it over getting everywhere super quick okay so now i just have to like cut it kind of to get the outside out okay we got off and it came with some string um it's not the string i normally use it's kind of like more stringy not more stretchy so i'm probably just going to add it to the uh, bead confetti that i will soon be making in my next video now for the good part i love these colors so much so it comes with all these pinks and then like some red and maroon and then it comes with a bunch of these, like, it has some star beads, some square beads. Oh my god, I dropped them. And then some, like, circular. Mm. And then it comes with all these, like, the clasp and stuff. Next. I'm obsessed. So, I got this kit from Amazon, as you can see. And it was $9 for all this. $9. I... We have Prime, so I think it was free shipping, but I don't know how much it would be if you don't have Prime. But yeah, it was only $9. Got it with some of the money from that I made, and I'm super happy about it. Love you guys. Bye. Hi, guys. Doing a mega bead sheen haul because it's my birthday. All of these things are open this morning, but I forgot to film. Let's get straight into it. These are all white because I always run out of white. And I've got some flowers, i got some avocado, some rainbow flowers, some Christmas ones, not many. Fruits, evil eyes, pink smiley faces, flower smiley faces, oh, and there's an evil eye in there. Um, smiley faces and animals, and I'm going to do some more colours here. So, yeah. Christmas ones came in here, so I've got to sort them out. So, we'll be doing this as well. These are the colours we're going to be sorting. I've got this to cut the string. I'm just going to quickly sort them into colours. Sorted them into colours, now we're going to put them in there. I've just realised I haven't got enough boxes. Which is fine because we can put these back in here. And then we'll have enough. I'm going to quickly just put these back. I've emptied the box, so I'm going to put the others in. We're going to use this blue first. Got the first one out. They sort of spill them and they go in there, but then they fell in there, so I've got to sort this out. I've done one, so now we're going to just do the rest of the strands. I've done this one, now we're going to do this one. Finish this one. On to this one. Finish that one, now we're going to do this one. And my phone died, but I finished it all off. Bye. Let's get into a clay bees factory outlet in China. They only produce clay beads, so they don't have anything else to offer. The good thing is that their prices are pretty competitive. Let's keep going to see all different styles they have. These ones are huge packages. These are clay beads bracelets 2022. While there are some examples of what you can make, however, possibilities are endless by using different combinations with other kind of beads, charms, strings, closures, etc. some orange clay beads.
These are mixed fruit clay beads. I think these are pretty cute. Also these. Here are the round beads. If you are a clay beads business and want to see more, then follow us for upcoming new styles. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.